Hello, Bobby Torres of Frightbox recording here to tell you why you already have all the plugins that you'll ever need to create a great mix. Probably. So when it comes to creating a great mix, whether you're mixing in a bedroom or a multi-million dollar studio, we're all using the same tools. And I break these tools down into three different categories. Your primary essential tools, your secondary or ambience types of tools, and your character tools. Now, when I say tools, I don't care if we're talking about an analog console, we're talking about a DAW, we're talking about outboard gear or plugins. They all get the job done, it doesn't matter. So let's start off by talking about our primary essential tools. These are tools like EQ, compression, level, and panning, all of which can be accomplished within any DAW with stock plugins. You do not need expensive high-end plugins to accomplish basic EQ, panning, level, and compression. I'm sorry, it's just not true. If you're having trouble with a particular vocal sound or snare sound, or you're after a particular guitar tone, there is no EQ or compression plugin in the world that's gonna magically give you that sound. Now, yes, different EQ and compressor plugins do have their own character, but at the end of the day, if you're struggling to achieve a professional sounding mix with the tools that you already have, even if they're the stock plugins within your DAW, it really comes down to tweaking your approach, not chasing after fancy plugins. And no, I don't care what anyone says, if magically you had an analog console set up in your home studio, you would end up with the same problems. Yes, the console does have a character, uh, it does have a sound, but it's not gonna fix a snare drum that wasn't recorded properly in the first place, and it's not gonna magically give you the guitar sound that you've always wanted. So with this being said, focus more on how you're actually using the tools than the tools themselves. Okay, so those were our essential tools. Any mix that you work on is gonna require compression, EQ, level, and panning, so you need those. Now let's talk about reverbs and delays, which I like to consider my secondary set of tools. Now I'm saying that they're secondary because yes, they do help make a great mix, but they're not essential. In other words, if you slap reverb and delay on a mix that's just not happening at the source, it's really not gonna help any. I see all the time online people asking what reverb plugins they need, what delay plugins they should buy, when the problem is they're not getting the basics of mixing sorted out in the first place. So with that being said, most DAWs already come with reverbs and delays. As a matter of fact, I just use the stock reverbs and delays that are in Pro Tools. I have bought other reverb and delay plugins from other plugin manufacturers, but I always end up going back to the Pro Tools ones because I know them the best. I see all these arguments online of people fighting over what reverb plugin sounds best. And yes, they all have their own character, much like EQ and compression, but at the end of the day, they are not gonna make or break your mix. Again, much like EQ and compression, if you're looking for a magical reverb or delay plugin to somehow fix your mix, it's not gonna happen. It's how you use the tools, not the tools themselves. And again, just like our essential set of plugins, all DAWs come with their own stock reverbs and delays. So if you're having issues with your mixing, focus on the workflow, not the plugins. And finally, this brings us to our least important set of tools, uh, at least in my opinion. These are our character tools. In other words, these are tools that will add character to the tracks within our mix, but they're not gonna make or break the mix as a whole. If you have your EQ compression panning and level dialed in, and you have your reverb and delay dialed in, so it's adding a nice depth to your mix, these are last on the list. And what I mean by character effects are things like saturation, choruses, flangers, things like that. Things that add character to your sound, but are not essential. Now, when it comes to this category, some DAWs do lack in this department. Now, does that mean you have to spend a million dollars on some high-end plugin bundle? No. Now, I'm a Pro Tools user, and my favorite saturation plugins are the built-in distortion plugins right within Pro Tools. Now, yes, I do have some other saturation plugins by some other plugin manufacturers, but I don't really use them that often. And the reason why is I just like to keep it simple, and I know the Pro Tools stock plugins inside and out at this point. So if your DAW is lacking a chorus, flanger, or maybe even a saturator plugin, pick those up. But remember, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to spend $1,000 on some fancy plugin bundle to get great results. In my opinion, this category is the least important. If you have your level down, your panning down, your EQ down, and you have your ambience process is dialed in nicely and your mix is sitting properly, this third category is really only the last 10 to 15% of your mix anyway. So it makes no sense to spend a fortune on some high-end plugin that's really not gonna do anything magical for your mix anyway. So the moral of the story is you probably have every plugin that you need. Now, am I telling you to never upgrade your plugins? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you're having issues with your mixing and you just want your mixes to sound more professional, your energies will be best spent educating yourself, not spending your money on plugins that are really not gonna make a difference, I promise you. Now, when I was in college, I interned at a pro studio and I'll never forget what this producer would say to me. He would always say, it's how you use the tools not the tools themselves. And that stuck with me, and through my own experience, this is a thousand percent true. Especially in the modern day, you do not need fancy tools, just a basic DAW and a handful of basic plugins, and you could achieve amazing results right within your home studio. If you found this video helpful, like, 
comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click the little bell icon in order to be notified every time I upload one of my weekly videos on all things metal and rock production. You can both like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description below. And do not forget to download my free quick EQ guide that contains all my EQ settings that I always return to when I start a mix. There's a link below right within this video's description. Till next time, happy mixing.